Well, 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 here we are, together at last. I know, I'm going to wait a second because I know some of you are catching up, some of you need to know if we're live, there's six of you watching now, lovely, uh, hello there, hey King, oh, they said to me, hi, how are you, oh, we're, we're, it's growing, it's growing, the people are growing, look at this, Natalie, how are you? This Camille, yes, Camille, Simone, yes, Michael. Uh, oh no, Michelle, sorry. Um, Mar Martania, uh, Laura, yes, Laura is here, everyone. But just in case you didn't know. Uh, um, all right, let's get right into it, okay? And now here's the deal. I know what they say. They say don't talk politics, but I'm gonna get right into it. I think we need to talk politics, and that's what I'm saying to you, okay? And this is what I'm going to say. The clave needs to understand a few things about the downworlders. That's all I'm going to say, okay? We'll tell you, that's the politics I'm talking. I got it off my chest. I'll say it again for those of you who are joining. The clave needs to understand a few things about the downworld. If, if you don't agree with me, that's fine. You can have your own, you know, your own political affiliation in the shadow world. But mine is with the down world, and I do think we need a voice. And I think that voice needs to be me. I'm just saying. All right. So politics is out of the way. Next. Now, I promised you some spoilers. Didn't I? Oh, boy, didn't I? All right. Now, what can I say that's, that's good and that you'll, 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 you'll get the clues and then you'll figure it out without me actually saying anything and getting myself into trouble? Hmm. All right. Let's start with this. All right. At the end of episode 10, you saw Valentine plunge a knife into my side. A dagger. All right. Now, where did he get that dagger? Who's that dagger? Who gave him that dagger? Huh? Mm -hmm. Something to think about. Now, we all saw someone dressed in all black. Or maybe it wasn't black because it was dark and it was nighttime and they were far away. Could have been blue or gray or brown. We don't know. The fact is, they were wearing a hood. They had the sword slung over their shoulder and they walked away. Now, many of you may know who that is. Or many of you may think you know who that is. I... I know who that is. And I'm not saying right now, but maybe in five minutes I'll tell you. Uh, hello, Argentina. Kansas, I love you too. Hello there. The Netherlands! L let me just say a little shout out to Brazil, Australia, Kansas, uh, all of Asia, all of Europe, um, all of Africa, all, all of Antarctica, all of you. Hello, how are you? Good to see you once again. But let me give a nice warm welcome to the Netherlands. Uh, if you don't know this about me, I did a little commercial called Old Spice, and it's now playing in the Netherlands. So those of you out there in Holland, I'm on a horse. Uh, those of you who aren't in Holland, well, you know, you might have to go there because it's a great place to visit. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, now... Today was interesting. Uh, I shot a little scene um, with somebody's favorite warlock, all of your favorite, and um, we, man, this is a spoiler and I'm not a fry, I can't give this out so I have to kind of give you a little bit of cloudiness around it. Um, he and I were, uh, we went someplace together, that's fair to say, I think, and uh, we had to talk to someone. Um, we had to appeal to someone. That... If, if anybody has been reading the books or watching the TV, you know what I'm, who I'm talking about. You know who we talk to. Uh, and, and because it was so crazy. Because, oh man, I almost gave away too much again. But I will say this. We had to go someplace to talk to, to some person. And this person does not like to joke around. Or maybe they do. Anyway. Um, I'm here to answer questions and to tell you all about, um, my grooming routine, uh, what's going to happen when Harry, Matt, and myself get, get together and we have a little cooking sesh, 
I'm I know what I'm cooking. Branzino. Um, Daddario is probably going to cook some steak or something, something that I can't eat because I don't eat the red meat. Um, I can't. It hurts. Uh, and I don't know what Harry's cooking. He's a jack of all trades. He may pull some crazy stuff out. You know, he's, he's always cooking something interesting. Interesting. You know, one time Harry came to work and he had uh, this uh, yellowfin tuna collar. He just had it. And he gave it to me. And I took it home. He told me how to cook it. He said, put it on the, on the grill and, and put it each side, maybe five to six minutes. And I did it. I salted it up. And guess what? It was delicious. It was so good. You know what that tells you? It tells you that Harry knows what he's doing. When it comes to many things in life, Harry knows what he's doing. When I need to know directions to someplace, who do I ask? Not the Dario. I ask Harry. Now, if I ever need to cook red meat, who do I ask? You got it. I ask the Dario. But because I don't eat red meat, guess what? I'm not asking him. I would have said that, but I've, you know, I've got some young listeners, uh, viewers here, so I can't use profanity, even though, you know, werewolves, when werewolves turn, I'm sure there's all kinds of profane words that come out of their mouth, but, but they're, they're turning to dogs, and so they just bark, and uh, or they howl at the moon. That's what that howling is. It's, it's werewolf profanity. Sorry to break that to you, but it's true. Um, werewolves need to, to express themselves in certain ways. All right. What's my relationship with Clary going to be? All right, Star. Let me think. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you this much. Uh, where it left off in episode 10 was that she saw me sitting there, laying there on the bench, and, and she was like, oh, are you going to be okay? And I said, yeah, don't worry, I'm fine. Then I passed out. Then her and, her and uh, Simon went outside, because guess what? He's a daylighter, and he can be in the sunlight. Well, I think what's going to happen, <laughs> rather, I know what's going to happen, is that I'm just going to make sure that she knows, like, hey, listen, you can have a relationship with this kid all you want, but you got to be careful, okay? Especially when you talk talking to a downworlder. Down, relationships between downworlders and shadow hunters, they're all good in the hood. Let me tell you that. But, you got to be careful when you have a downworlder like Simon who is so powerful and doesn't know how to use his power yet. Now, I'm not quoting any lines from any scripts, but in a nutshell, that's I'm paraphrasing. You know, that's in a nutshell, that's what happens. Okay, let's see. Is it good you... Yeah, Howling, yes. Yeah, so could you play any other... Okay, now this one's always asked. They say, if you could play any other character on the show, who would you be? Now, I usually say Valentine, but I'm not going to choose Valentine this time. I'm going to choose someone else. Would it be Alec Lightwood? No. Would it be Magnus Bain? No. Would it be Simon Lewis? No. Clary Fairchild? No. Isabel Lightwood? No. It'd be Jace, Jace Whalen slash Arendale slash everything, because you know why? He's the ultimate hero, okay? I mean, he is the fastest. He is the strongest. He knows how to wield a sword. He knows how to wield a knife. And I'm pretty sure, the only thing he doesn't know how to do is drive. That's it. That's it. And you know what's funny? Is I can teach him, or someone can teach him that. We can send him to driver's ed. We can get him the classes that he needs and get him a license to drive, okay? Let's do that. Let's have a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram campaign, teach Jace to drive. It's, it's only going to save lives in the long run. Think about it. He clearly doesn't know how to drive. He's crashing into things left and right. We need him to learn how to drive. You know what? Because I... As the father figure of, of, of the down world and the shadow world and, and all of the shadow hunter characters, as that father figure, do you know what that means? When someone needs to go to soccer practice, guess who has to drive them? Yeah, you guessed it. Me. When someone needs to go to the store to get something, who, who needs to drive them? That's right. Me. When someone's hungry and they just want to go to the drive through and and get a burger and fries and maybe a shake or something. And, or maybe a Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. I don't know what you like. But either way, 
Who has to drive them through the drive-thru? Me. And you know what? I'll say this, because I'm not afraid. Thank goodness that the video store is, is gone, is, 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 is no longer around. Because guess who would have had to drive them to the video store? Me. That's what I'm saying. I need this weight lifted off my shoulders. I don't want to be everyone's taxi. And, and quite frankly, that's what's going on right now. I know a lot of you out there say that Luke isn't getting the love that he needs on screen. You know why? When you don't see Luke on screen, do you know what he's doing? He's driving someone someplace. That's what's going on. He's constantly working. Is he a detective or a taxi driver? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We need to get Jace a license because it'll take the brunt off of Luke. Okay, I digress. I, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop moaning and complaining about this. But I do want to address one thing. And in all seriousness, I have to, I have to get serious. I have to adopt my serious tone now. Um, just want to say, I appreciate the love and, and what you say about getting Luke some, some screen time. And know this, Luke is appreciated. The, 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 all the groups, the Bane and Lewis, the, the, the Nephilim updates, the Shadowhunter updates, they love Luke. So those of you out there who are championing my cause and, and, and reaching out and say, telling people to love Luke, do it in a nice way. Uh, let them know that you appreciate them and, and that you love what they're doing. And that if you want to see a little more Luke, eh, you know, maybe they could just throw a little Luke on the side here and there. You know what I'm saying? But do it in a nice way. No one wants to be bullied or say, you know, or, or, or attacked online. You know what I'm saying? It's not fun. It, you, you know what's fun? A little more Luke in your life. And the best way to get that is to ask nicely. Hey, you know what I mean? I, all I can tell you is write your president. Write your congressman. Write your clave representative. Whoever you want. Uh, showrunners. Executives. Lawyers. Uh, whoever. And just tell them in a nice way. Hey, we like what you're doing with Luke. Can we see a little bit more? That's all you gotta do. And quite frankly, you know, it's not the Luke show not a bad idea but it's not the Luke show it's it's shadow hunters I am but one one mere morsel in a greater great hi 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 there hi Natalie <laughs> I am but one mere morsel in one great big chocolate chip of a show you know what I'm saying you can't have too many chocolate chips in in, in the cookie because then it becomes just a big fudge cookie and it's no longer a chocolate chip cookie. And Shadow Hunters is a chocolate chip cookie with bunches and bunches of chips in it. And all those chips contribute to the taste of, of that moist, delicious, warm, melts in your mouth goodness that is Shadow Hunters. Oh, man. I wish I could record some of these things that I'm saying because. I'd love to hear them back again. I'm sure some of you are doing it. I hope I hope you're doing it. Um, you're making memes, probably. And speaking of memes, I have made some wonderful memes today uh, with each one of my lovely castmates. I've gone ahead and put them out there. I'm going to put them out there one by one. Um, I know you're off to work, but I'm you know, hey, hello from Australia. Chocolate chip, you liked that, didn't you? Oh, you're so fun. All right. So what I'm saying to you, though, back to the memes. Oh, I have some good ones. I put just about every cast member that I that is here today uh, in the memes. The only one that's not here today and she's sorely missed is Maya, uh, Alicia. I would have loved to have a meme with her, but I have to I have to get there. Now I want to use the rest of my time here to just address a couple of things. Um, the parabatry, because I know this is a big one. Uh, the parabatry. Now I know some of you may have been upset with me for not sending out the parabatry photo. Now, let me just say this. To get Matt, Harry, and myself in the same room uh, is almost impossible. Um, you're, you might find a unicorn faster than you get that happening. Um, occasionally we are in the same room, but to get us in the same room where we're not working or busy, that's even harder. So, I am trying. I mean, sometimes like they're they're slippery, you know. They're like they're like a bar of soap. I try I try to grab hold of them, but whoosh, out of my hands, and they run off, and I can't get the picture. But I'll keep I'll keep trying. 
but just give me some time. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to get there. Uh, what's next? This cooking show. I've heard someone say something about when are you guys going to have your cooking show? Um, again, this is Matt Daddario. I put the whole thing on his shoulders. Um, whenever Matt would like to do a cook-off, cooking show, whatever, I'm game. I'm game. I have no problem cooking my fish, the one thing I know how to cook. I'll, I'll cook that all day long. That and maybe a bowl of tuna fish. You know, whenever he wants it, I'm, I'm game. All right. Um, what else is there? There's something else that I need to address that, uh, that we've been talking Okay, yes. So, uh, the meme Monday. Okay, so let me just explain to you how this works. Because maybe you, maybe you need to know the interworkings, the, how, how it goes down. Meme Monday starts like this. We get press photos. Um, I scroll through the press photos and I find a few that, you know, that are like a couple successions. And I, I put about 10 or 11 photos in, in, a, in a file. And then what I do is I sit back, I pour myself a nice glass of milk, wine, and then I start making memes. And I just do it. I, they just, it could be anything. Sometimes they make sense, sometimes they don't. So sometimes if the story doesn't really make sense, you know what, hey, maybe, just maybe I may have had, you know, one sip of wine too much. I don't know. Uh, or maybe I didn't have any wine. The point is, don't worry about whether it makes sense. It shouldn't. Um, or maybe it should. And if it does, great. You know what I mean? Oh, I love you too, Fernanda. I love you too. Roberta, how you doing? Um, anyhow. Ooh, lots of love from Germany. I love Germany. Hello. Uh, guten Tag. Or guten Abend. Whatever it is, it's, it's good. Anyhow, back to the memes. Um, now, I know some of you have been ask, asking for different photos and, and screenshots. If you want me to meme a certain thing, hey, send it my way. I will do my best to get to it and meme it out for you. Um, I love doing the memes. They're kind of fun. I hope they don't get old to you. Um, I'll carry them out throughout the summer until we get to June 5th. Um, I promise you that. I will definitely do that for you. So um, I'll keep them coming. I, I do like doing it. I have to admit it. It's, it's, it's really fun. Um, and sometimes I get kind of crazy with it. Um, so just be fair warned. And it also... My memes are my interpretation of the shadow world. They, they, I want to give a disclaimer. They, they are not, there's no affiliation with anything that has to do with our show other than the way I see it. So if something isn't accurate or isn't particular or correct, please don't, don't shoot me with a silver bullet because I am just interpreting it to make someone out there laugh and have a good time. All right? There, that said, um, what else? Oh, let me address all the... Now, listen, I don't know Twitter lingo all as well as you guys do. I don't know what, what these little things mean. I do know what the rats mean. Someone told me, explain it to me, okay? So these rats, look, I appreciate the love. I love you all. Um, just, you know, be rats in a, in a very, you know, kind way. That's all I'm saying to you, you know? All of you out there, the, uh, you know, I, I'd like to name you all. But I won't name you all, and you know who you are. You know who you are. I can't name you all because if I name one and I don't name somebody else, somebody's going to get upset with me. So let me just say to the whole of the Isaiah rats, or the Luke rats, or the Garraway rats, or the Shadow Hunter rats, I love you. I love you all. And I just hope that you play nice out there, because I see some of the, the the interaction between you guys, and sometimes you guys get 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 stirred up a little bit, and then and, and the fur starts to fly, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, any let, let's answer some questions because uh, I, I'd like to do that for you now. Love you too. Okay, um, you're so sweet and funny. Thank you. Well, thank you too. Appreciate that, uh, Rosa. Hello. Um, name you, Charlotte. Settle down out there. I've named you. Um, what, okay, so go ahead. Let, let, let's hear some questions. Favorite episode you filmed from two Favorite episode from 2A. Um, I'd have to say episode either 210 or 26. Uh, the one where, where Luke gets crazy. Um, and the other one where... Or grieves, I should say. Or the other one, at the, the finale. I really like that one. Next... 
be able to show up at any time. You know, I'll be honest with you. Without a without a confirmation of season three, the end of the show here is a little. You know what I'm saying? Don't know uh, what's going on, but I hope it comes back, and I hope you hope it comes back. Um, it's a little sad, though. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a little. Have I ever thought about doing audiobook readings all the time, all the time? No one's come to me and asked me to do that. I would love to read an audiobook. It would be so fun. Um, yeah, I hope we come back, and I'm a little sad that we're leaving. Although, you know, I, lo I love Toronto. It's a fun place. Although I do want to get back home and see my family and my dogs. My dogs. <sighs> Alright, next. Uh, what's in the like, offset from the... Let's see, what's a day like offset? Mm -hmm. Well, this is, what I, this is what I do. Um, I usually get up in the morning, go to the gym, come back, grab my backpack, and, and go down to this little place uh, on Queen Street... It's a little tea house. I go there, I sit there, I drink a little mate. little mate. All of my South American peeps knows what the mate is. I go down there, I drink some mate. I do a little bit of writing, some structuring. Uh, then I come back home. I get a little meditation in. Those of you out there that know what TM is, to Transcendental Meditation, look into it. It can help everyone. Um, I do a little bit of that, and then if I have some free time, I'll play a little bit of Nintendo Switch. Not too much, because it is very addicting. Mm, Legend of Zelda has me around the neck right now. Just just having its way with me, just going, come over here, come over here, come over here. I can't stop playing it. Oh. Anyway, uh, so uh, what else is after that? Then I usually make some dinner, I take a picture of it, and then I send it to Dario and tell him he can do no better, because I know he can't. And then uh, I eat the dinner and then probably go to bed. Maybe I'll go have a glass of wine or, or hang out with the seamstresses who I, am, I play trivia with on Sunday. Shout out to all my seamstresses out there. Sylvie, Mel, Angie the Cutter, she told me that earlier. And of course, Julianne in the truck, you know. A little shout out to, to Kinsey that used to be with us. I miss my girl. Um, anyhow, and uh, I could not forget Elaine. Um, anywho, uh, next question. What would Luke's favorite song be? Luke's favorite song. Wow. Oh, it's so hard. So many songs, you know what I mean? I, I, it'd probably be something by the Beastie Boys, because he's from New York, so he probably loves the Beastie Boys. I mean, I'm just going to say that. I, I love the Beastie Boys. So there you go. Shout out to Mike D and the Echo Chamber. By the way, if you guys aren't up on the Echo Chamber... Uh, I, I put it on my Facebook all, or my Instagram all the time. If you guys aren't checking out the Echo Chamber, I'm telling you right now. It, 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 the music history, the lessons you get from that show, uh, amazing. Okay, I'm done, done, I'm done. I know you, know, you can't beat it up because otherwise you guys will be like, all right, whatever, whatever, Isaiah, we get it. We get it, Dad. All right, next question. If I could give Luke advice, what would it be? Huh. I, you know what the first thing I tell him? Don't carry a pistol that has a silver barrel. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Isn't that going to burn you every time you grab it? I mean, are you just punishing yourself? Is that some sort of penance you're doing? That's what I'd say. That's the first thing I'd say. I'd say, get a different gun. Get a black gun. That's the first thing they teach you. Um, let me think. Uh, what else would I tell him? I tell him this, too. Uh, don't have a partner, because your partners, you know, they're going to want to pry into your business and know what's going on, and you got secrets. And also, I would give him permission, I know this is going to be rough, so, so hold on, you guys. I would give Luke permission to start dating again. He needs love in his life. You know? Don't you think? He does. Every think about a dog, okay? Think about a dog. When you when you pay attention to a dog, they just love you. That they just love you. That's it. Dogs just want love. That's all they want. They want attention. They just they want walks. Just a little just a little pet, you know. Just to know that you're there. And they follow you around. They love you. They they just want love. So I would tell Luke. I would say, hey. 
Buddy. It's time. I know what happened. But it's time. You gotta let it go. Let it go. Okay, next question. Favorite episode in 2B? <laughs> uh, that's a good question there. Uh, it's very funny, but I can't give away those. I'm going to say 215, 214, 215. What would my, oh, I, you know, this rune creating thing, I've, I've answered this question several times, and I think you all know what I'd say. It'd be a happy face. Your dog says hi? Well, no, Megan, tell your dog I said hi, too. Melanie, do I ever dream that I'm Luke? No, I never dream that I'm Luke. Um, I do dream that I'm a werewolf, though. Does that make the same? I, cause, you know what I mean? Because I'm not actually Luke, but I am a werewolf when I dream. Is that, is that, is that similar? Okay. Oh, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, listen. Here's the deal. This is what I want to tell you about this Jade Wolf situation. All right? It, it's disgusting. That you there is a layer of filth in that restaurant that if you go in there, you're going to catch some sort of something. Respiratory something, uh, you know what I mean, there's mold in there, it, it's bad, it's bad, so be on the lookout, hint, hint, for a class action lawsuit slash commercial coming your way about the Jade Wolf, I'm just saying that, okay, okay, I'm just saying, if, if, if you want that, you may want to tell your, your friends and family and whatnot to, you know, check out my Instagram, because that's where it may be played, is there. Mm -hmm. um, just letting you know. Uh, yes, so so go out, tell friends, tell fan, family, yell it to the mountain. Go follow Isaiah Mustafa on his Instagram, because there may be some crazy thing about the Jade Wolf on there in the next coming day or two, or maybe even tonight, if I get time to do it tonight I'll do it tonight you know what I mean we'll boost that followership <laughs> followership up um, <laughs> I blame my I blame my low followers on my own lack of posting I I, I, I will I will cop to that you know I, I feel like I, I could probably have a lot more followers if I posted more often I'm sure you you, you probably agree um, you know all my castmates are up above a million and I sit down at my lowly 220,000. It's embarrassing, yes. <laughs> um, but but it's you know I, I I think that my followers are quality followers. You know that's why that's why there's 225, 26,000 of them because they're quality, quality followers. I'm not that embarrassed. Who's mad? Somebody put a mad face that came across the screen. Who did that? Who who just put that? I see another one. What's going on here? Who is putting the mad faces and why? You know, I know I know you don't have mountains in Denmark. I'm sorry about that. But don't you have fjords? Can't you yell into the fjord? I woo. Oh, oh, well, you guys are real funny with these these mad faces, huh? Real funny. Can you guys put um? Little little green hearts with with uh, werewolf faces though, can we do that? Let's do that. Let's get a whole bunch of those going. The green hearts though, can, can they turn green or is that even a thing? Uh -uh. Yeah, hey Deborah, how you doing? Good to see you too. All right, quality before quantity. That's what I'm saying, Teresa. You know what I mean? Um, anywho, um, I'm supposed to wrap it up here soon. Uh, if you don't want me to go, just, you know, post one of those little, like, like those, oh no, faces that you have, uh, on there, and then I'll stay for another five minutes and answer some more questions. <laughs> Favorite place in Toronto? Mamaka's. Yeah, I see them. I see those oh no faces. All right, I'll stick around. I'll stick around. All right. I like, I like what's going on here. I'm listening to the peoples. 
I'm listening to the peoples, all right? I see it. Yeah, I see all those. Oh, there's a big one. There's a lot of big ones. Oh, my gosh. Look, that's crazy. All right, I'm, I'm listening to the peoples. The peoples have spoken. I will stick around all for you. You guys got to know. You got to know. I love the fans. I, I do. I do. I do. I look forward to Meme Monday. I really do. Um, and if you didn't notice, it, it starts at 8 p.m. Um, just because I, do, I like to keep it consistent with the Shadow Hunters chat. That's all. But uh, I, I, I do I do enjoy your interaction. I love when you guys um, throw memes at me. And I believe there's a meme contest coming up soon, if I'm not speaking out of school. Mm. All right, so today's your birthday. Fanny, happy birthday. Uh, Carolina, hello from Poland. Uh, Sweden says hello. Well, hello, Sweden. How are you? <laughs> good, good, good to know. Um, all right, so... Uh, a couple more questions. Let's let's say five more questions, okay? All right, here we go. Favorite movie? Oh, Claire's favorite movie. Here we go. Um, honestly, my favorite movie is Doctor Strangelove, or How I Stop, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Doctor Strangelove. If, if if you can't get through it the first time, that's all right. I don't think anybody did who who was under the age of uh, you know twenty two. Um, keep stay with it. As you get older, it'll it'll be funnier, and you'll see um, you know you'll get the jokes a little bit more. Um, but I love that movie. I could watch it any day, any time. The one summer I actually watched it every day on repeat in my bedroom. So like when I went to bed, it was just playing um, the DVD. I can tell you what the, the, the start of the DVD is. But yes, Dr. Strangelove is my favorite movie. Um, all right. His favorite song of the moment right now. Whew, man, that's a tough one. Because I flip in and out of songs like you wouldn't... Oh, man. I got a great song today but on, on, on the Echo Chamber. Mm -hmm. um, I heard a great song today, but I forget what it was called. I know it's called Wake Up, but I forget who sings it. Um, let me think here. Um, who is my? What's my favorite? You know, I like Drake's new new album. I also like Kendrick's new album. Both are good. Uh, hard to pick one song though, because what happens with one song that you like is this: you pick it, and then you wear it out, and you play it, and you play it, and you play it, and you're like, I'm tired of it. I can't do it anymore. I can't do this song anymore. And that's kind of what happens with with my favorite songs. So I try to just put songs out there. And then just listen to them. I'm really excited about the Gorillaz new new album that's coming out, though. I can't, can't wait for that because I'm a big Gorillaz fan. So there's that. All right. Third question. Do you have an actor's bucket list? Oh, okay. Uh, are there any actors that I'd like to work with? Oh, wow. Yes. There's a bunch of actors that I'd love to work with. This is kind of hard, though, because I feel like when you, once you say these things, that they don't come to fruition. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of actors that I like to work with. Um, I, I you know, I, I don't really want to say because I, I, again, I feel like once you say it, then they like either that actor catches wind of it and they're like, I ain't working with him, or, <laughs> or, or, you know, what I mean, the casting gods go like, nope, that's what he wanted. I'm not giving it to him. Um, but let's just say this. Um, I like, I would like to work with people who are. Uh, just good people at heart, fun to work with, have a good sense of humor, have a good work ethic, and um, they don't necessarily have to be A-list, B-list, you know, just just really fun people to be around, you know, because I, I, I like to, to like talk to people on set, I, I don't like to just work and go back to my trailer, so. Um, all right, question number four. Now, Sarah, pizza with or without pineapples, do you really want me to waste a question on that? Really, I can't do that because I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't eat pizza. Okay, I, I that's a lie. I do. <laughs> I was gonna tell you that I do eat pizza from this place called King Slice. Oh my gosh, you guys! I'm telling you, if you're ever in Toronto, go to King Slice Pizza. It is so good. I don't know what they do. They put the garlic sauce on it after it's cooked. Um, I get the arabiata. It's got some jalapenos on it. And not only that, but one king slice slice is actually two because they cut it in half. It's a big slice. It's a huge slice of pizza. 
I, like you've never seen it so big. So one time I got two slices, two. So actually that's four, and it was too much. I couldn't do it. I I ate I ate too much. I got all full and bloated. Oh man, all that cheese, whoo, tore me in half. You won't even know. My daughter was visiting, and she was like, "Get out of the room, Dad. Just get out. I don't even want to. Don't just stop eating the pizza." Because this cheese is working you over. And it did. It worked me over. So, anyway, we'll go to number question four because the whole pizza thing was a, was a, you know, a little tangent. Anyway, okay, question four. What do we got? You got one? Um, let's see here. Favorite hobby. Hmm. Well, currently, my favorite hobby is writing. Uh, I, I've, I've consumed a lot of my time with writing. Um... I'm doing a lot of uh, a lot of behind the camera work lately because that seems to be the natural trans, uh, transition for for uh, young master Isaiah. Uh, I'm moving into that kind of uh, kind of kind of realm um, because I like to create. So uh, hopefully I can create something that you like, and my fans from Shadow Hunters will follow me to the next job that I do, uh, and then and I will acknowledge all of you and say thank you very much for being my fans because I love you. And that's the truth, Ruth. Uh, all right, if anybody knows what that, mo what that line is from, and if they can post it, I'm not even kidding. I, I will send you something from this trailer um, signed with my name on it. If you know what's that line from, and that's the truth, Ruth. Huh? I'll, I'll give you a hint who said it. The actor who said that line in this particular movie that was made in 1989 uh, is an actor who, who's been around for a long time, but he, do, he didn't get very, very famous and popular until he was a little bit older. And when he the movie that he busted out in, and he did act before, but the movie that he busted out in changed movie-making and writing and and the way we view films and see films it just flipped it on its ear. And I'll even tell you the year that movie came out. That movie came out in 1994, the movie that this actor busted out in. Okay? So, if you tell me who this actor is, I'm telling you right now, I will sign something right now and give it to our social peeps and they will get it to you somehow, some way. Do you know this actor's name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody's even trying to answer that. <laughs> you guys are like, okay, whatever. Um, Top Gun, no, sorry. Top Gun's, I believe it's 1984. Uh, mm, man, uh, Paul Wesley. I can't touch that question. I'll touch it later, though. Um, do the right thing? Who? Heather Lamar? Heather Lamar just said do the right thing. It was that, yeah, Heather Lamar, Heather, Heather Lamar, Heather Lamar, post something, tweet again or something, because I got to make sure I get your name right, Heather, uh, I want to make sure I say, have it, oh, I, it's already done, it's already done, Heather, Heather did it, Heather, shoot something at us again so we can see that your name, and so I can get you something, um, signed from my trailer, um, man, Heather, how'd you get that, that's good, man, that was good, yeah, Mitch, I, I know, Mitch, oh yes, it was Pulp Fiction, Mitch, but but Heather Heather answered it Heather first, and and so we have to be you know we true to what we said. Um, Heather, uh, type something out so we can we can see where you are, so we can make, make sure I get your name right and everything, because I don't want to miss it. I want to make sure I get you get you something that I promised. Um, uh, Heather, did you disappear? <laughs> Did you did you answer the question and then you were just like I got I got it right done, um, let's see uh, Heather Lemur Heather L E M U R Heather L E M U R okay and by the way Hannah what a good friend you are for 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 saying look at you Fernanda it's Heather Lemur look, look all of you guys are so like nice you know what I mean. What a sweet fandom you guys are. I mean, just, just a nice group of people. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. All right, final question, because I'm, I'm probably blathering on like an idiot uh, way too long, but final question. Ready? 
Um, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, Nancy, uh, it is do the right thing, but we already got the answer. Sorry. Um, let's see. Who's in the set right now? I can't ask that one. Um, what was your favorite TV show? I'm on it. Uh, although I do like uh, Into the Badlands. I, I, ooh, 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 ooh. That show is everything and more. Um, as far as me growing up and liking stuff, uh, that show like hits all the, the cylinders for me. I love that show. Um, but I do love Shadowhunters, so I, I'm not going to say anything bad about being here because if I wasn't on this show, I wouldn't know you guys. And let's be honest, I love you guys. So hey, there we go. Um, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, what else is going on here? One last question. Can you sing something to us? Ah, yes. I have to sing something in a video, though. I'll, I'll do that for you guys at another time, because I want to I make it a good question so you guys get a little info. Um, oh, thanks, Shani. Appreciate that. Um, what about Paul Wesley? Can't touch that question. We'll do that. We'll deal with that later. Uh, when you see the episode that he, when he, that he directed, then you'll understand. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, French kid, whoa! <laughs> uh, please, Isaiah Malik, I play some uh, show. No, let's see. Can you rap something, man? If there's one thing I, I wish I knew how to do, it was freestyle. I, that is just something I just do not have any skills in whatsoever. Um, man, like I'm, like if I try to freestyle, it just sounds bad. Like it, I mean, it doesn't doesn't sound good at all. Um, let's see. Let's see, you want to know uh, why, where, where Red Werewolf Go? Red red Werewolf Go? <laughs> red Team Go? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, can you make a British accent? You know, my I, I'm afraid that my British accent is, is almost like, kind of like, uh, so bad that it's, that it's, it's poking fun, you know? So I don't want to do that because we have two lovely Brits on our, on our, on our cast here, and I don't want to, you know make fun of those guys at all so Isaiah you're the best uh come on do I ship I do I ship them Malik please of course um let's see come on come on I was thinking MC Hammer can't touch no any particular actor okay we, we said that one um let's get let's get a good question come on come on what's your favorite weapon in the show no if you could create an episode what would happen oh shoot if I could create an episode what would happen how about that one you guys really want to know? All right. I would say this. I would go into... I would dig into a couple of relationships. Um, you, you'd, you'd see a side of Malik that you've never seen before. You would see... Uh, you'd get some backstory on Luke Garraway uh, that you've never seen before. Um, I would put, I would make two characters who are normally at odds, I would put them together and then send them on a, on a on sort of a quest to, to figure something out. Um, you get that. Uh, let's see, so that takes care of me, that takes care of so-and-so and Malik, that takes care of so-and-so and so-and-so. Um, and then, oh yeah. I'd really, really dig into the history of the Daylighter and how that all came about and why it's so revered and why everybody is just like, what? Daylighter? Vampires in the daytime? What? I mean, seriously though, right? Like, come on. If they weren't scary enough, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now I got to stay inside all the time? Damn. Ooh. Anyhow, that's what I would do. That's just me uh, in my humble little, you know. But I, I'll tell you this much. Um, television writing is very, very hard. Um, and hats off to anybody and everybody on our show that does that on a, on a weekly basis because it, you, especially when you have so many characters and such a rich, rich background to dig from, uh, it, it, it may seem like it would be easy, but it's not. Um, it's, it's really hard. And not only that, but you have to kind of give every character their due. And it's it's just a difficult job, you know. And, and anybody that can get that done, 
you know, they're 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 head and shoulders above the rest. And I, I from the bottom of my heart, I, I love our writers room, and I, I have to say thank you for, you know, have giving Luke everything that you've given Luke because because with an ensemble show with so many characters. It's easy to get lost, and and there's one thing they have not lost uh, is is Luke Garraway, and they've given him a voice, and made him very very um, give him some gravitas and depth. All right, guys, I think that's it. I'm gonna say sign off and say bye. I think I've been here way too long. My takeover is still going on. Don't worry, it'll be going on well into the evening because I have taken so many photos. <laughs> And I'm sending them out, and you guys will be able to see them. I can't wait till June 5th either. I'm looking forward to it. Um, again, you want more Shadow Hunters? Get out there and write the network, write Freeform, write whoever you want to write, Netflix, whatever, and tell them how much you love the show. And I'm sure they will listen to you because, after all, it is you, the fans, who dictate what you see. If you love something, tell someone. And you will see more. All right, guys. Until I see you again, arrivederci, so long, farewell, until we meet again. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got a pest finish. <laughs>